Okay, so I have a bunch of CPUs I do use to mine with. I uh, use unminable sometimes. I mine directly sometimes to uh, Zergpool, Supernova, etc. I have been mining Raptorium, Vitorium. Uh, let's see, uh, Monero using the random X algorithm to get, to pay, uh, to get paid out in either uh, Bitcoin or other. Uh, I've also mined, let's see, jeez, uh, I think I even mined Avian and Ravencoin Lite. That was a waste of time. Again, for me, this uh, CPUs were speculation for a long time. <clears throat> uh, speculation mining. And then I said, I just need Bitcoin. I want Bitcoin. I want to grow my stack of Satoshis. So... I have been mining. Let's go look real quick. I've been putting all the rigs, flipped them over. After mining um, on a mineable and getting a payout in uh, crypto.com, just to see how that went, uh, I got about 15 bucks a week, which is not bad, not counting electricity. Uh, but again, I decided then to switch over to Zergpool to see how that compared. And here we go. I put all the rigs on here. And this is mining to the most profitable algorithm for my rigs. And the, the way I did that is I got the uh, hash rate for one of my 3900Xs and I go down to the Zerg pool in their pool status and I just say, give me the, I sort by current estimate on profitability. And I went through all these and I put these numbers in my spreadsheet based on the hash rate of one of my GPUs, this is the uh, aggregate of all the, um, this is the total right now of my all of my, uh, all my CPU rigs. So I just took one 3900X, which is I think, I don't know, four mega hash, who knows, or four kilo hash on uh, Ghost Rider. I would do it for each of the profitable algorithms, right? Uh, Minotaur X, blah, blah, blah. And I put them in and basically just multiply your hash rate times this column over here, the profitability estimate and or the past 24 you can do either i mean they are way off actually they're guessing here that it's 0.6 is an estimate but the actual uh is uh the past 24 was 0.36 so if you want to be real conservative about it i would just go with the uh, 24 actuals take your hash rate times the actual and uh, you go from there because look at this current estimate 0.6 24 hours estimate 0.5. Yeah, big difference. So here's Ghost Rider, 0.003. This one's kind of a little more close, 0.003 for the 24 estimate. The past 24 is 0.002. So again, a lot more conservative, lower numbers in reality. So take that hash rate of your rig times the estimated earnings, and you'll find the most profitable coin on here to mine. It takes a little work because you got to know what your hash rate is for each of these algorithms with a, with a, with a C in it, right? C means you can mine CPU. Uh, don't just go by the most profitable right here, like say Minotaur X, because it may not be the most profitable for your rig. It's weird. It's not easier. There's not an easier way to figure it out. You got to do a little bit of work. You spend a couple hours, run one of your CPUs. Say you have four 3900Xs. Run one on each of the algorithms to get your hash rate. You got to get your hash rate. That's the work right there. Do the work. All right, enough of that. So I got all the rigs on here, and I am mining all the coins on that algorithm. So uh, if you click on Ghost Rider, let's go through it. Oh, my gosh. Hurry, 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 Ghost Rider. Clicked on Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider now has two coins in it, Victorium Raptorium. You can mine both of those coins for the most profitable coin, on that algorithm right and all you do is just uh, put that in your mining software your batch file and you just put it in the password file so I'm using XM rig so in the in the dash P password line you just put the coin you want to get paid out in which is Bitcoin I suggest everyone get paid out in Bitcoin Bitcoin is king Bitcoin is digital gold Bitcoin is the new real estate. Altcoins are too risky, man. They're, I don't know. I'm trying to get all my altcoins flipped over uh, to Bitcoin. I did that with Pirate Chain. I had the stupid privacy coin, which was one, <laughs> didn't give me any money. I said, before it goes to zero, I'm flipping it to Bitcoin. And I did that to a couple other coins, Binance coin I held. I just flipped them all to, to Bitcoin. I don't care. It was down. I just want to get Satoshis. And then also to get that, you say, I want the Bitcoin, right? Coin equals Bitcoin. 
MC is mine, mine coin, the coin you want to mine, and you just specify the coins in that algorithm. You put them all. I could just mine Raptorium straight, but I want the most profitable, which may switch. The coin may switch during the day, so you just go ahead and put BTRM slash RTM. That's all you do there. Okay, so I'm mining that right now. And over here, you can see which one is doing well. So it uh, seems like Vitorium now is the most profitable on that algorithm. Yesterday, it was Raptorium. You can see here, yesterday, it mined a few uh, rewards I got. So it was doing well. And then uh, Victorium came and took over. I was trying Monero. It wasn't as profitable. That's what Unmineable uses, RandomX. It wasn't the most profitable. So that's why I'm on Zerg Pool. And I got a way to go. I got to get to 100% to get my payout. That's about 30 some bucks uh, as of 3 June 2022. With, I think, Bitcoin's about 2,900 again. Yeah, 2,900. Jeez, 29,000. Sorry, guys. I'm thinking, uh, I am thinking of uh, Ethereum. So let's look real quick. 29,428 on Bitcoin. Ethereum, boo, boo, Ethereum, boo. All the Ethereum devs, boo. All right, uh, 1,753. Uh, Ethereum's a love-hate. We love to mine it and get the rewards, but the whole project sucks. I'm sorry, the whole dev team sucks. Uh, I'm just putting it out there. Just watching their their uh, their sessions, their dev sessions. They, no one knows what's going on. And they all seem to be beta cucks that... Just no one stands up and is a leader. It's it's pretty sad, man. You need a leader. You need an alpha chat in there to lead that team. Oh, my God. Anyway, enough about that. So what are we doing? If you want to find out what your rigs are going to get, there's another way to do it. If you don't want to do the uh, hand way, the hardcore way, by finding your hash rate, <clears throat> going through Zerg pool, looking at their uh, daily profits, stuff like that. You can go into nice hash. I know people don't, don't like nice hash and people don't like unminable. Do not listen to other people. Do your own research. Try it yourself. Decide for yourself if you like it or not. Because most of these people are shilling something else. You know, some guys now are shilling ASICs on their YouTube channels. Some are saying still buy GPUs. And I'm just like, no to both. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys crazy? You got to sit back and see where the market's going to settle out before you start dishing out money on different approaches. So I'm just trying to optimize what I have now. Same goes with, with uh, deciding which platform to use. So like I said, I was on a mineable. I did make some money on it. I hold it. It worked well. But I wanted to go back to the Zerg pool to see if I can do it by hand. And it seems to be working well. It's going to take a while. Probably like uh, I, I estimated based on how much I'm making in Bitcoin a day when it gets exchanged after I get, you know, it takes, takes the, uh, the uh, Ghost Rider coins you mine, flips them to Bitcoin. And uh, so about 17, 20 days, I should get my 100% payout. Again, it should be 40, 30 to 40 bucks. Who knows? Depends on the market price. <clears throat> it could be zero. It could go up. It could go down. It could go backwards. According to Bitcoin Ben, who knows? Those guys, man. All right. So you can go to NiceHash. I have nothing wrong with Nice. I, I love NiceHash. I think it's, as a, it serves a purpose. It uh, makes things easy. And you'll get money. Everyone's taking a fee, so don't let that scare you. The mining pools take a fee. When you go to exchange it, they take a fee. You know, if you if you were to move your money to an exchange to exchange it from um, <clears throat> Raptorium to Bitcoin, you're going to pay that network fee. You're going to everyone wants a fee, so you try to minimize where you can do it. That's why on Zerg Pool, I'm just mining there, pay the dev fee, and then pay the exchange fee and get it paid out. I'm done. Keep it simple. The less moves you make, the less it's going to cost you. But uh, here we go. You can go to NiceHash. I like NiceHash. I'm mineable. I like unmineable. I think after I get my payout on Zerg Pool, I'm going back to a mineable, even though my CPUs will be mining random X, which is what a mineable uses, Monero. I don't care. I'm just going to do it and get paid out in Bitcoin, let it ride on there. I just seem to like their system better. I don't have to do all the work, uh, but you can do the work, and that's what I did on Zerg Pool. You can go do it. So we'll see once I get to the payout on Zerg. But we'll see where I stand. And maybe I'll use NiceHash. Who knows? So what you can do, go to NiceHash.com. You can connect your GPU, CPU, and start earning Bitcoins. Bitcoin, guys, is king. Don't let yourself get fooled by all these stupid other channels out there on the crypto. Oh, you got to get this latest altcoin. Yeah, it's going to moon. No, no, no. Guys, it all started with Bitcoin. Stick with Bitcoin. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. You can go down and scroll down to Profitability Calculator. 
you can check or compare the potential earnings of your hardware. There is no auto detect yet. It's not enabled. So you go over here and click enter your hardware manually, blah, blah, blah. So let's just say, I, I think I have five of these 3,900 puppies. Just click on that. 3,900, blammo, look at that. Let's then you can do one up. Look how easy they make this. I think I got five of these and I got them for all around four to 500 bucks. I have to see what the pricing is now. I mean, if they're below 400 and the motherboards are cheap, it, I don't know. I may buy more CPUs. I don't know. I don't want to buy ASICs. I just think that's a big buy-in not knowing where it's going to go. So it's tough for me. I don't want any more GPUs. I'm sick of worrying about the heat and the whether or not I have to do the copper mod to keep the memory temps low. GPUs are really high management to me. That's, that's what it's uh, turned out to be over the past year. Sure, they make money, but uh, with the proof of stake and the merge coming on Ethereum, I think it's going to be a crap show after that, trying to find out the use for the GPUs. But uh, CPUs are now, I don't know. We'll see if that's it. If not, let's see what the A6 do. I'm just still hesitant on the A6. I think just the whole logistics of trying to buy them, you got, they're all coming from overseas. They want crypto to be uh, used as payment. And then, uh, I don't know. And I just see a lot of the other YouTuber guys, they're getting these things as promotional items and not always raises a red flag. These guys are getting them for free. And then they're um, they're not dulling on any of their own money. It doesn't appear. That kind of makes me nervous. I know they're trying to make a buck. I get it uh, by promoting other uh, hardware. And they're giving their honest feedback. But that still uh, makes me nervous. And uh, if I buy this thing, say it comes from Hong Kong or England or something, and it breaks or it doesn't work, that's another uh, couple weeks a month to maybe get customer service. But once they have my Bitcoin, there's no way to, to dispute the charge or uh, return the item and say this thing was not what I wanted. So your buyer protection, getting an ASIC from overseas is very, I don't know, it's sketch, man. A buyer beware, you're dropping 6K and you're just like hoping that it comes and it works. No, no. I want to know that I have a... Uh, actions I can take if I don't get what I paid for or the thing doesn't act or perform as advertised. Anyway, that's just my two cents on that. Uh, yeah, don't, 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 what is it? FOMO, don't fear missing out on this ASIC stuff or anything like that. Just do your own research. And that's why I'm looking at CPUs again. So here we go. Let's put in five Ryzen 9 3900Xs. Calculate. Blammo. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Swing. And then you can, um, here we go. Not looking good, right? <laughs> it's not looking good for CPU mining. My approximate income is 74 cents a day. That's what they computed with just, uh, let's see. Let's do one. Oh, I put 10 cents kilo. Let's, put, let's go up. Let's go higher. 13 cents. That seems to be more realistic. Let's just do one GPU. Let's not muddy the waters. Blammo. Come on, big money, big money. Holy good God, that's even worse, guys. Oh, my God. You're So right now, according to NiceHash, I am barely breaking even after electricity costs of 13 cents. So right now, I'm just getting Bitcoin. I'm just getting Bitcoin and not really uh, with the idea of holding it. So that's the logic there is. That's what I would make if I were to sell the Bitcoin when I get paid out, you know, right now. But I am not doing that. The goal is to mine the Bitcoin. I'm not underwater yet with the electricity cost. But mine the Bitcoin, hold the Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin will, and not if, but when it goes back up, that profit's going to be well worth it because I'm buying, I'm, I'm mining, getting Bitcoin, holding the Bitcoin. Right now it's twenty nine thousand. Say it goes back up to sixty, that was a good investment, right? So don't look at the numbers now. I'm not realizing the profits now at seven cents a cheap a, a CPU. I'm buying and holding. So that's the difference. Don't, I mean, this stuff can scare people off. Say, oh my God, I better sell all my rigs. Doom and gloom, fear. Ah, ah. no, you got to figure out what your strategy is, and if you can afford seven cents a day. And uh, not and basically, you're going to pay your power bill out of your pocket right now, not the money you're mining with. So I'm just doing it to stack Satoshis. I want to get as much Bitcoin as I can uh, and not Ethereum, not the other crap coins. 
they are crap. Alt means crap to me. And uh, that's why I've been exchanging them into Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, I just want to get Bitcoin so you can just look down the road for future gains. Maybe it'll be two years, the next bull run. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. There's a lot of geopolitical stuff going on by design to destroy the Western culture and the countries. But hopefully we'll get through it and uh, things will come out shiny again like they were a couple of years ago and people will profit. Profit is good. So I'm holding. I'm not selling. But again, it looks bleak right now. If you were to mine and sell, it's kind of useless. You're better off maybe taking the money uh, you're paying on your electric bill and just buying the Bitcoin outright. So that's another thing you got to figure out what you want to do. Uh, yeah. So there we go. It gives you like some past earnings of your setup on NiceHash. And uh, we got income about 40 cents a day, 264 in one week, 1073. Here's your electricity cost. Uh, yeah. Look at that. 229. So you can see your profit. So there, there's your power bill, 983. There's the Bitcoin you did, 1073. <laughs> yeah, there's your profit, 90 bucks, 35 cents, 7 cents a day. There you go, guys. If you wanted a quick and dirty rough estimate, and it says it right here, read everything on the pages. Please note that values are only estimates based on past performance. Real values can be lower, which is most likely today in a bear market, or higher. Exchange rate of one BTC, whatever, I can't remember what was used. All right. So, yeah, it's all basically estimates is the key word here. Don't go nuts over it. Do your own research. Mine on NiceEdge for a day or two. Mine on, uh, on Mineable. And mine on Azurkle. See what works best for you if you have the time. Again, it's, it's all pennies right now. So is your time worth the effort? My goal, like I said, is just to get Satoshi's, get Bitcoin, and uh, keep growing it. I want to get up and up and up and get more Bitcoin as much as I can. All right, that's all I got. Just wanted to show you this nice hash calculator. And currently where I am at now on Zergpool, having left Unminable to try Zergpool, and I'm just bouncing around experimenting just to educate myself to uh, learn about this CPU mining because I like it. It's almost like an ASIC in a way with flexibility because the electricity costs are a lot lower. The heat is a lot lower. Uh, I'm not going to buy any GPUs. I think that's crazy. I've seen people buying GPUs. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know, man. Kind of. All right. It's your money. I don't care. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Check it out. Check out the nice hash stuff. And again, people say bad stuff about all these platforms. Don't listen to them. Do your own research. All right. Take care. I'm out. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 